hello guys in this video i am going to show you how you can create a new custom large language model within your oracle cloud infrastructure by using its generative ai service when we say custom model it simply means that you pick up a base model and then by using your own custom data you fine tune that base model on that custom data and then you have a new custom model so let's get started log into oracle cloud by going to cloud.oracle.com and logging in with your email account if you don't have it just subscribe it with your free email and you will get some free credits too oracle is pretty generous in that regard once you are logged in just click on these three lines go to analytics and ai and then from here you can see that we have these all ai services now before i show you these ai services there is one thing we need to do I am supposing that you already have your data set or your custom data set and that custom data set should be in JSON L format and that file should be UTF-8 encoded and it should be in um, the prompt completion pair. So I already have my data set ready and you can create any uh, sample data set maybe go to chat GPT or any other model and just ask it to create a a prompt completion data set which will serve the purpose in this case and let me also show you an example so it your data set should be in this format there should be a prompt and then completion and then it should end with this braces and this is what i was talking about make sure that this jsonl file or dot jsonl file is utf8 encoded plus each line contains a valid json object by a new line character slash n which i just showed you above this should be the valid format and then it, each json object should have two properties prompt and completion and make sure that for this custom model at least there are 32 such lines because that is a minimum requirement for fine tuning and of course the larger your data set is the more time it will take in fine tuning so prepare the data set then go to storage in the oracle cloud click on buckets if you don't have already create a new bucket just click in by clicking on create bucket and then open this bucket and then from here just simply upload your uh, json l file let me quickly do it by clicking on this upload button and then i'm just selecting my file and there you go my i just have a very simple file i have put in around 50 pairs in it so that's done click on upload and then close and there you go so we have our training data set in this bucket grab the bucket name too now again click on these three lines at the top left select analytics and ai and then click on ai services on the right and then on the left click on under custom models click on project then create project just select any of the compartment compartment is something if you have used aws it is sort of like account or project in google cloud they are so, sort of similar things we arrange all of our oracle cloud infrastructure resources in compartment so i already have this root compartment um, it has just given it a random name so i'm just going to go with it in the advanced option you can tag it which is always a good idea especially for the production workload let me create the project by clicking on create and then you can see that we have um, initiated the creation of our project here now you can um, do a lot of things here you can create more objects you can limit the scope here you can filter uh, your different um, uh, models if you have multiple custom models now from here create click on create and train model and then i'm just going to go with the model type text classification you can select named entity recognition so that you want to identify the entities within a given text but let's go with this one model version is v1 that is fine single label and it is saying that object storage and we already have selected our uh, bucket because i already have one bucket and this is my json l file which uh, it has automatically detected we don't have to worry about advanced options for now as you can see 
and I don't have any uh, test data so I'm just I'll just leave it for now click on next from here and then compartment is already selected then click on next this is my training data and then um, this is my text classification and I believe it is using coheres command model at the back end in order to use for text classification then you can create uh, click on create and train and there you go so it is now in the creating state and of course as I said that you know the larger your uh, data file size is the longer it will take and then you can see a lot of matrices here around class confusion and uh, that sort of stuff and we can also check our model endpoints it is still not created and these are the matrices and here it is telling you that model training is in progress so it will take bit of a time but these are all the steps once the model is ready then you will see that it will appear here in the model endpoints and if you go to the previous page you can see the status of all of your models as you can see that the model which we uh, started has errored out for some reason uh, so let me refresh this page to see what is happening maybe some issue with my data store no it is still creating okay that is fine maybe a network glitch or something it is still creating and it will take bit of a time i'm not sure if it has produced model endpoint not yet So I will let the model tuning run, but you can see that how easy it is to fine tune your own model, your own custom data set in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure by using their generative AI services. If you're having any issues, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.